Alaska is one of the most wonderful places in the world. From majestic glaciers to towering waterfalls. Join us on our 12-day journey on the Crown Princess. Exploring six different ports along the Alaskan coast. Sailing out of Vancouver. Welcome aboard on the Crown Princess. It's 4 p.m. and we arrived in Vancouver, taking the SkyTrain from the airport to our hotel. In this video, we show you how to do a pre-cruise excursion on a budget. One of the main attractions in Vancouver is the Capilano Suspension Bridge. The Vancouver Transit System is very efficient and budget-friendly to get you there. Our first ever cruise journey started five hours earlier. We arrive at the airport at 11 a.m. Our flight is at 1, so we are two hours early. Uh, I like afternoon flights. The airport is empty. Last time we came here it, at 5 a.m. it was packed. Our airplane arrived on time. Our flight was only 70 minutes long. So we have so many luggage. We just buy a leather strap and put two, two and two together. Easy peasy. To get to the SkyTrain, you have to get to the departure terminal first. Okay, when you're in Vancouver, you go to one of these machines and hold it, and pull it, slow so we're going to choose multiple tickets, day pass, we have two adults, and we have one concession, under 18, so all together for a whole day, it's $30.60. 65 cents. Okay, we're done. Uh, just have to pay. Okay. And a turn. And 65 cents. Put a coin in here. And that's it. We have. Uh, transport pass for the whole day for the whole area of Vancouver. So, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's all the same. They just ask for an ID. So we have bus, metro, 
train, ferry, all included in this pass. And how you how you use it? Everywhere you go, you have to yeah go ahead. And this is how you get through the gates. And when you exit, you have to use the same. Easy peasy. And to get around in Vancouver with the metro system is really easy. It's only three lines. And it also gets us to the airport on the way home. Again, when you exit, you need to use your card to get out. This is the waterfront station. Really nice building. And we're going to switch to the sea bus line here. Same thing. Use your card to get through. Also, there's an expo line here. This is where you go to Chinatown, Metro Mall. You go down there. But we're going to cross the bay to go to the Capilano Suspension Bridge. Over there, you can see Canada Place where all the cruise ships stock. That's the cruise ship terminal. Okay, we made it. But the sea bus is every 50 minutes anyway. That sea bus was almost full. Yeah, sea bus. So we're going to take the bus 236 to Krause Mountain on our way to the suspension bridge. Krause Mountain, there you go. Okay, we're here at the Capilano Suspension Bridge, one of the main tourist sites in Vancouver. We took the bus up here from downtown.
After the Capilano suspension bridge, we headed back to downtown. Taking the sea bus back to Waterfront Station. The Radians of the Sea arrived for a short visit. If you need any supplies or forgot things for your cruise, there is a Costco right outside the Chinatown Metro Station. Vancouver is North America's foodie capital. There are so many good restaurants here. From fresh, affordable seafood to Korean comfort food. Vancouver hotel prices are very expensive, ranging from $400 to $700 per night in the downtown area. We booked our hotel 20 minutes away from the cruise port. We stayed in Metro Town Burnaby. The hotels here range from $200 to $300 a night. Staying here, we could be at the cruise terminals in 20 minutes. Just hop on the SkyTrain and exit at the waterfront station. So we just got off our SkyTrain at the waterfront station. Right over there is Canada place where our cruise ship is. It's busy already and it's only 8.30. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. See you next time!